Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at how to solve simultaneous equations graphically. So by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to do these two things, graph straight lines, and therefore solve simultaneous equations graphically. So let's have a look at the first one, graphing straight lines. Now, I think it's best for me to just teach you one or two methods rather than um, three different methods just so that you can get used to the one method and you don't get confused. So here we've got um, an equation y equals 2x minus 3, which is in gradient intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Um, whenever we have um, an equation in gradient intercept form, I think you might find it easiest to do a table of values. Now because these are straight lines, because the power of x is 1, Okay, it's not squared, it's not cubed. Um, the power of x is 1. It's going to be a straight line. And so a table of values makes it nice and easy. We have x and y. Whenever we have straight lines, we only need two points. And once we've got two points, we can just connect them, draw a straight line. So the points that for the, well, the x coordinates that I always like to use are 0 and 1 unless if um, the coefficient of x is a fraction, then I like to use the denominator. So here, when x is 0, y equals 2 times 0, which is 0, minus 3 is minus 3. When x is 1, y equals 2 times 1, which is 2. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Okay, so we've got two points. We can graph that. here. So 0 minus 3, let's go minus 1 minus 2 minus 3. That's 0 minus 3. And 1 minus 1 is about there. And now we can draw our straight line. Okay, it should go through both points. And we can just label that y equals 2x minus 3. This is our x and that's our y-axis. Okay, so I'm going to do one more with you, question B, and I want you to have a go with C and D yourselves. So question B, X and Y, I always like to use 0 and 1, but here the coefficient of X is a fraction. So I'm just going to use the denominator of 3 instead of 1. So if X was 0, this becomes 0, so Y would be 0 plus 1, which is just 1. If x was 3, however, then these 3's cancel each other out, and I've got y equals minus 2 plus 1, which is minus 1. So now we can graph this. We have 0, 1, right there, 3 minus 1, 1, 2, 3, minus 1. It's about there. And so now we can draw our straight line. Okay, and it should go through both of them. Okay. And that's y equals minus 2 over 3x plus 1. Okay, so you can also just double check, right? Um, for question A, we know that the coefficient of x is positive, so it needs to be sloping up, and it does, up from left to right. In question B, the coefficient of x is negative, so it should be sloping down from left to right, and it does. Okay, so that helps. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to have a go with C and D, pause the video, and when you're done, they can continue playing the video. Okay, so question C x, y, I like to use 0, 1, so 5 and 4. Let's go here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 0, 5 is up here, and 1, 4 is over here. 
So then we can draw a straight line. So I forgot to label these axes. Okay, question D. Now this might look really weird to you because we're always used to y equals mx plus b. So what we can do is just we can rearrange the equation, the question, to make it y equals mx plus b. Here's our b. Here's our mx. So here I've circled that 7 over 2 is positive, so I've kept it positive. Here we've got minus 3, so I've kept it as minus 3. And now we can just do our x, y, 0 and 2 now because the denominator is 2. So when x is 0, y is minus 3. When x is 2, y is 7 minus 3, which is 4. Of course, you can just use your calculators to do this. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. 0 minus 3 is here, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, up here, and then we can draw a straight line. And that's y equals 7 on 2x minus 3. Okay, so for question E, I'm going to do that one with you, and I want you to have a go with question F. Now, here is not in gradient intercept form. In fact, this is in general form, where we have ax plus by minus c is equal to 0. So there's no fractions. x is positive, and it all equals to 0. So in this case, if you see something like this, I'd rather just use intercepts. Find an x-intercept, find a y-intercept, plot them on the graph, and then connect the dots. So to find an x-intercept, we let y equal to 0. That means we have 3x. y becomes 0, so that cancels, which is nothing. We still have that minus 6 equals 0. And then we solve algebraically. 3x is equal to 6, x is equal to 2. To find the y-intercept, we let x equal to 0. So if x is 0, this will cancel out. So we've got 2y minus 6 is equal to 0. And then just solve algebraically. 2y equals 6, y equals 3. And so now we have everything we need to graph this. Because y is 3 and x is 2, we've got our two points. So the x-intercept is 2, y-intercept is 3. We've got our two points. We can graph that. Um, And that's y, oh sorry, 3x plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, so pause the video, have a go with F yourselves. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. x intercept, we let y equal to 0, so we've got 5x plus 6 equals to 0. 5x is equal to minus 6, x is equal to minus 6 and 5. Y-intercept, we let x equal to 0, so we've got minus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0. Minus 3y is equal to minus 6, y is equal to positive 2. Okay, divide both sides by negative 3. So when we graph this, We have y is 2, we have x is minus 6 on 5, so it's about here, let's just say, that it doesn't have to be completely accurate, and then we can just join the dots.
and good enough. So x, y, and this is 5x minus 3y plus 6 equals to 0. Yeah. So now that we know how to sketch straight lines, we can use that when solving simultaneous equations. Okay, because all we need to do is sketch two lines together or on the same graph. So what does it mean to solve simultaneous equations? So to solve two equations simultaneously or to find a simultaneous solution of two equations, what it basically means is to determine the x and y values that make both equations true. Okay, so that doesn't just mean find x or just find y, we need to find both x and y. We need to find um, the value of both x and y that makes both equations true. So to solve graphically means to sketch the two equations and see where they intersect. Sometimes um, you'll be given graphs where the, oh, the lines are already sketched for you. Okay, you already have the graph, so you don't need to sketch them. But in case you need to sketch them, we've already developed those skills um, in the first half of this video. So here we've got two lines. We've got y equals minus 1, x minus 2, that's the red one. And we have y equals minus, uh, sorry, y equals half x plus 1, that's the blue line. So where they intersect, that is the solution or the simultaneous solution to these equations. So they intersect at minus 2, 0, which means that x is minus 2 and that y is equal to 0. So if we were to if we were to substitute x equals minus 2 into this one, we will get an answer of 0. But if we were to also substitute minus 2 into this one, we will also get y equals 0. Okay, because here it says it should be 0. So that's what it means. Okay, so let's have a look at the first question. Plot the following points on a number plane and join them to form two straight lines. What is the point of intersection of these straight lines? So here we've got two tables of values. The first one, we can see that this point here is 0, 1. This one here is 1, 3. This one's 2, 5, 3, 7, and 4, 9. Okay, so I'm just going to plot that in red. 0, 1, 1, 3, 2, 5, 3, 7, and 4, 9. Okay, so that's that one. I'll get you to pause the video, um, plot the other graph, um, and then determine the point of intersection, or also known as find the, the solution to, this, to these simultaneous equations. Okay, so 0, 4 here, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 4, 0. Okay, so here we can say, see that they intersect right here at 1, 3. Okay, and that is the point of intersection of these straight lines. So the answer to this question is just 1, 3. Okay, if the question asks, you know, what is the solutions, then I would write x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3. Right, but here is saying, what's the point of intersection? This is the answer we give. Okay, question B, 
pause the video, have a go with this one yourselves, and when you're ready, you can continue with the video. Okay, so we'll have a look at the first one, y equals x plus 3. We can use table values x, y, 0, 1, 3, and 4. We have y equals minus 2x, x, y, 0, 1, 0, and minus 2. Okay, so let's graph them. One, two, three, four. One, that's pretty much all we need. Um, and minus one, minus two. Okay, so zero, three. Here, one, four. Up here. I'll try and be as accurate as I can with this. We have zero, zero, and one minus two, which is down here. Okay, so it looks like if we were to continue this out, that this would be a minus one. So they intersect right here, which is minus one, two, and therefore x is equal to minus one and y is equal to two. Okay, so today's homework Exercise 5C, question 1 to 6, on page 206 to 208, and it's due on Friday next week. That's it for this video.